What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to tell you how I started in freelancing and how I earned my first $500. So I started freelancing like most people do. I just started reaching out to my friends and family, basically telling everyone that I was able to build some websites for them. I was also doing some graphic design, uh, things like logo design, some um, images retouch with Photoshop, and some co image collages, uh, all these sorts of things. I was just like telling everyone, look, if you need something like this, uh, I can do it for you and, and cheaper because, you know, I'm your friend, <laughs> you know me, I can do this sort of service for you. And this is actually something that most of you, you kind of forget or overlook because you think, oh, nobody will be interested in me to do these kind of things. But you will be surprised if you actually start telling people that uh, you can do these kind of services for them. And right now, in this time where we are, that we are facing this um, quarantine because of this pandemic of the COVID-19, um, there's a lot of people, especially the self-employed people, maybe you have some, some neighbors, maybe you have some friends or other people that they have some sort of business that uh, they, they are required to be shut down because of the, of, of the law, basically everything is shutting down. Nowadays, all the companies or all people that are self-employed, uh, one of the best ways for them to continue to their revenue to come in is to have some sort of an online presence. Everyone nowadays, especially in this time of the COVID-19 now, businesses, they need to have a website. So this is a great opportunity for you to, um, to actually just start uh, telling people, look, I can do a website for you or uh, anything like that. This is, this is actually a great time for that. And you will see that it's not as easy as it might look like because when you are starting out, there is going to be a lot of mistakes that uh, that you you will do. I remember that when I was starting out and I didn't know, for example, how much to charge. Uh, I was thinking maybe if I charge $100, it's going to be too much. Now I know that $100 is nothing, but you know, I didn't know how much um, I would charge. I didn't know, for example, how to approach companies. I didn't even know how to to give basically how to show them that I can give them some value because you you can't approach companies or other businesses just telling them look um, I can make a website for you this is not the right way to do it the right way to do it is look I can help your business I can help your company get some more revenue, get more people, get more customers, I can help you. And when people, when businesses, when companies, they see the value that you can bring them, this is where they really want you, okay? Because you can't just tell them, look, I'm gonna ba make a website for you. You need to be compelling. You, you need to, to give them some sort um, of uh, a reason, basically. You need to give them a reason for them to hire you. And basically, with all of these things, from when I started freelancing, I did so many mistakes, I didn't know about anything like this. And everyone can know this with time and experience. But if you want a shortcut for all of these things and if you want to learn the right way and everything, this is actually where you can start with the sponsor of this video, which is studywebdevelopment.com, where they have a bundle that basically they guide you through everything that you need. They guide you on how to approach companies. They guide you on how you can charge the right value for your services. They guide you on, for example, how you can promote your services, how you can get many different clients. And they even tell you, they give you like some sort of resources on website templates so you can get started to offer to companies. There is a huge value in here. I think their their um, their value starts at uh, for the bundle is like ninety seven dollars. And if you use my code tell twenty, you get twenty percent uh, discount. Uh, and I know that a lot of people all the time come to me. Oh, tell me this bundle is quite good, but it might seem a little bit expensive. But if you look like this. If you're gonna spend $97, it's gonna be a little bit less with my discount code. But if you look at this, they will teach you how to approach companies. They will teach you how you can actually uh, get clients. 
Basically, they are they are helping you kickstart your career freelancing. Just think about how much money you can get from all these clients out there. It's just amazing. I actually have the the, um, the freelancing bundle myself, and I've been through it, and I, I can definitely tell you that it's amazing. Just go to their website. I'm gonna put the link in the description. Um, and you will see all the reviews in there. Everybody says that is amazing. You you can definitely should have a look into it. But going back to this topic in here where I was making my my first uh, five hundred dollars. Uh, so I basically started reaching out all these people. Um, I was telling some friends that you know I could do this. I didn't know how much to charge because you know I didn't have enough experience. Uh, and I I remember. There was people that uh, I was actually even charging like fifty dollars, and uh, or or um, not fifty dollars, maybe like a hundred dollars. I don't remember now. And they were telling me that it was so expensive, one hundred dollars. And uh, now I, I, looking back, I I know that my mistakes was that I was not really demonstrating the value that I could give them. I was just telling them, look, I can build a website for you. I was not exactly telling them, look. If I do this, this, this and that, I can help you bring more customers to you. I remember, I'm going to tell you now, I had some friends that they were um, on the real estate business um, and basically they were trying to get an online presence. They were like trying to, to show their services to other people and I think that I, I told them that I would build a website for them for $100 and they told me that it was expensive. But you know what? You live and you learn with these kind of situations. So I, I did not only started freelancing with my friends and families, um, but I actually started to go online as well. I started to go online to places like um, Fiverr.com. Uh, there was uh, two other places that I was doing freelancing a lot, which was uh, Odesk and Elance. Those were two kind of um, freelancing websites that now they are gone, but there is one called Upwork. Um, so I, and even in that time, I remember that I was doing this freelancing and even allowed me to do um, a three month trip around Asia. If you guys check on my Instagram, you know, I took three months going around all these places and definitely freelancing helped me a lot with these as well which is quite great which is quite great and I guess that this is all that everybody wants when you start freelancing uh, you can basically work from anywhere in the world you can work from home if you want to go on holidays you can take some time off to enjoy the place where you are at the moment you could be in Bali you could be in Thailand you could be in the Maldives and you can enjoy your time and then later on in the evening you can work some for some client work. Basically, you, you dictate your own time and your decisions. Um, so, basically, that's it guys. Uh, you, you just need to start freelancing. Uh, and you will see that the more, the more experience that you get and the more clients that you get, you will see that sometimes you will overwork this happens to everyone because you just start when you get started sometimes you need to work more for the money that you get so you will not be so profitable so later on you will see for example let's say that you are building a website and um, the client is asking you to for example build the complete website and to do the design and everything let's say for example you are not good at a design okay so if you are not good at the design or you don't like it, basically what you can do is imagine that you charge uh, $600 for, uh, for a website or $500. Maybe a portion of that, let's say for example $100, you could go out and uh, just hire a designer for $100. I'm just giving an example. And uh, the designer would, would give you an amazing design for your website and then basically you keep $400 as profit. And this works with other things. Imagine that you are gonna build a website that your client wants you to do some sort of digital marketing. You can charge a little bit extra, okay? And then you can hire separate other people to help you out with some digital marketing. It could be with Google Ads, Facebook Ads, and so on. When you are working as a freelancer, it doesn't mean that you have to do all the job by yourself. 
you can charge a little bit more and then hire separately from these kind of websites like fiverr.com or, um, or uh, freelancer and so on. You can charge other people to do this other work for you that you don't know so much or you just don't want to do it. All right guys, that's it for this video. I just wanted to tell you that uh, now is uh, in this time of the quarantine is really like one of the best times to start freelancing. Uh, because there are so many businesses out there that if they are not online, they can't make any revenue at all. And this is your opportunity right now to just strike on it. Alright guys, if you want to check this bundle on how to become a freelancer, um, just check the link in the description. We use my link TEL20 if you want to get some 20% discount code. And that's gonna be it for me today, guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you actually ever tried to, to freelance. Have you ever gone in one of these uh, freelancing websites or have you ever tried to uh, freelance with one of your friends or family or anyone that you know? Let me know your experience in the comments down below and what do you think that uh, how everyone could start as well. All right, guys, that's it for me in this video. I'll see you in the next one.